Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're gonna to be taking a close look at the Alexander Signature Hybrid Mattress from Nest Bedding. Now Nest Bedding is one of the most popular brands on GoodBed.com and that's largely because they have a lot of positive reviews, hundreds of positive reviews from GoodBed readers. And the Alexander Signature Hybrid is one of, if not their most popular mattress. So we're excited to give you our take on this mattress, stick around. Now, in case you've never seen one of our videos before or been to our website, goodbed.com, the number one thing that you need to know when shopping for a mattress is that mattresses are highly personal. This means that a mattress that is great for me can be truly terrible for you and vice versa. So the thing you need to focus on as a mattress shopper is what we call the three F's, fit, feel, and features. Fit means finding a mattress that's gonna be a good match for your body, including your size, your shape, and your preferred sleep positions. It's much like picking a pair of pants. Feel is a set of characteristics for which there is no universal better or worse. It's just a matter of your personal preference. Features is a set of characteristics for which there is absolutely a better and worse. However, there are things that may or may not be a priority for you personally. So that's how we break down all of our testing as well as our reviews. So let's start with fit, which is really the most important of the three F's because it's how you determine whether a mattress is going to deliver you the two things that everybody has to get from their mattress, which is back support, which is really code for proper spinal alignment and pressure relief. Now, before I go any further, I should mention that you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out our in-depth written review, which you can find a link to right in the description of this video, because that's gonna provide you the full detail on all the different permutations of sleeper types and our ratings for each one. But what I wanna do right now is go through at a high level uh, what we found in our testing of the Alexander Hybrid. So let's start with spinal alignment for back sleepers. And overall, we found this to be a very good match from a spinal alignment standpoint for most back sleepers. Our only concern for back sleepers was for folks who are over 250 pounds, we worried there could be a little bit of hammocking on the medium version of this mattress due to the softness of it. Uh, so if you are uh, heavier, you're probably gonna wanna look at the firm version of the hybrid. Turning to stomach sleepers, we did feel that lighter stomach sleepers would be uh, pretty good from a spinal alignment, call it under 150 pounds uh, on this medium version. However, for heavier stomach sleepers, we were worried about the, the uh, possibility that the heaviest part of your body, which for all of us is our hips, could sink a little too far into the mattress given the softness of this medium version. So if you're a stomach sleeper, especially if you're over 150 pounds, we'd probably recommend looking at the firm version of the Alexander Hybrid. So now let's move on to side sleepers. And this is a group for whom we felt the medium version of this mattress really excels. I think that uh, looking across all weight levels, uh, we feel like you're likely to get uh, very good, if not exceptional spinal alignment uh, if you're a side sleeper on the medium version of this mattress. Now the other thing you need to think about, particularly when you're a side sleeper, is pressure relief. Because that's the position in which your body's weight is distributed over the smallest surface area. And in this case, again, we felt that the medium version of the hybrid, uh, Alexander Hybrid, did very well for pressure relief. We felt like lighter side sleepers are likely to get excellent pressure relief from this. Uh, and even heavier and curvier uh, side sleepers are still likely to get good pressure relief uh, from the medium version. Now, if you are a lighter and or extra curvy side sleeper, you might wanna think about the soft version of the Alexander Hybrid, but for most of the other folks, we did feel like the pressure relief here was gonna be sufficient on the medium version, so you probably just wanna stick with the medium. So now let's move on to the second F, which is feel. Now, these again are characteristics that cannot be better or worse. They can only be a better or worse match for your personal preference. And the first of these is softness. And in terms of uh, our softness scale, we would classify the medium version of the Alexander Hybrid as a medium soft, meaning just to the softer side of medium. And that's on account of the fact that there's definitely a lot of uh, softness in this quilted layer right up on top of the mattress. And then below that, you have a three inch layer of Titan Flex foam, which is not super soft, but because it's a three inch layer and it's soft enough, it does give the mattress overall a fair bit of softness, especially when combined with that quilting layer. Uh, and then even also compared with the give and conforming nature of the pocketed coil suspension unit down below. So overall, we classify this as a medium soft. 
The next feel characteristic is what we call cushioning depth, which is really the difference between sort of that uh, sleeping in your mattress or being hugged and cradled by it versus sleeping on your mattress, which is more of a floating above it type of sensation. And again, no better or worse here, just your personal preference. And on this front, we would classify the medium version as having uh, deeper than average cushioning, giving you more of that hugged or cradled sensation uh, than a floating above your mattress type of sensation. And that's on account of, the, of again, the, the softness that you uh, have in those upper layers allows you to sink a little bit more deeply into the mattress. Uh, and also, there's a little bit more um, conforming nature to this material. The tight and flex material itself uh, is a pretty conforming type of material. So it hugs your body uh, a little bit more closely than the average mattress. Not so much, the quilting actually offsets that a little bit because it has undulations and stuff, which kind of give uh, a little bit more spacing there between uh, the mattress and your body. But, but on balance, we'd say it, uh, it all contributes to an effect that gives you more of that hugged or cradled sensation on this medium version. The next feel characteristic is what we call memory feel, which refers to that slow responsiveness that you may uh, know that memory foam is known for. And there is a little bit of memory foam in this Alexander Hybrid mattress, but it's all just right up in the quilting layer of the mattress. So it adds up to less than an inch in total. And as a result, you find just a smidge of that kind of delayed slow responding memory feel, but really not very much. And overall, we'd say it has uh, far less memory feel than even the average mattress today. And the last feel characteristic is bounce, kind of the photo negative of memory feel because it's all about how much of that quick responding nature does this mattress have. And we do look at bounce at multiple levels of the mattress and in the case of the Alexander Hybrid, uh, we found that the surface of the mattress has a, a little bit of bounce, particularly once you get through that quilting layer where the memory foam is and into that uh, Titan Flex layer, which does have a very bouncy uh, kind of latex-like feel to it. Uh, then at the mid-level, you have kind of an average amount of bounce. There's enough softness in this cushioning layer uh, that, you, that it, it kind of um, dampens a little bit of the mid-level bounce that we, that we test with a 16-pound bowling ball that we drop on the mattress. But then when you do the deep bounce test, where I plop my full 200 pounds down on the mattress, uh, we did find that it had um, kind of an above average, not surprising amount of bounce because of those coil support unit uh, down at the bottom of this mattress. So overall, we felt like certainly this is a mattress that has, uh, you know, more than average amount of bounce. So now we're moving on to the third F, features. And again, these are things that actually can be better or worse, but may or may not be a priority for you personally. And the first of these is motion isolation, which as you may know, refers to the degree to which a person on say this side of the mattress is going to be aware of or disturbed by what's happening over on this other side of the mattress. And we test this a couple different ways, both with uh, dropping a bowling ball down as well as putting my full 200 pounds down next to a bowling pin uh, to test how much motion moves across the mattress. And in terms of what we've found, what we'd say for starters is that uh, the bowling pin never fell over in any of our tests. So that right there is very good. However, it did move uh, a decent amount. So overall, what we would say is the motion isolation in this mattress is very good, but maybe not the best. The next set of features are those related to cooling, because there are a lot of people who have a concern about sleeping hot during the night, particularly on a mattress that does have a little bit of memory foam like this one. And on this front, the number one thing you need to think about is airflow. Uh, how much air can go flowing through this mattress and allowing heat to also escape most easily from the mattress. And in this case, with the Alexander Hybrid, there is a lot of airflow. We'd say it's excellent on this particular front uh, because you have, not only do you have eight inch coils comprising uh, the majority of the height of this mattress, but also they go edge to edge. There's no foam perimeter to uh, possibly act as a heat trap here. So uh, excellent on that front. Another thing we look at is uh, how much of your body's surface area is exposed to the air while you're sleeping, because that is your body's most efficient way to dispel heat during the night. And we did talk about how this is a mattress, at least the medium version, is one where you're gonna sink more deeply into it and it's gonna conform a little more closely to your body, both of which kind of work against you in this particular area. However, uh, this is offset somewhat by the quilting on this mattress, which does provide 
little areas for air to get in closer to your body there. So uh, overall, we'd say it's kind of okay on this front. And the last thing you want to think about is heat transfer. And this is an area where mattresses can have specific features designed to help conduct heat away from your body, help that heat uh, that's being generated by your body travel away from your body into the mattress and hopefully right on out of it. Uh, and in this case, we would say that this is a mattress that has several of such features. Uh, number one, it has uh, some phase change material in the cover to give it just a little bit of coolness to the touch. Uh, and number two, it has uh, phase change materials like gel embedded into uh, the foam, particularly in this Titan Flex layer uh, below the quilting. And so that again, gel is a conductor and it helps that heat travel more efficiently away from your body. So overall, we would say that on this front, uh, if, if cooling is a concern for you, we would say this mattress is good on this particular dimension. The next feature is edge support, which can be important to people whether you are someone who likes to sit on the edge of the mattress like I'm doing now, or whether you're someone who, for whatever reason, tends to get forced towards the edge of the mattress during the night. So we look at it both ways, of course. And in terms of sitting on the edge, uh, this mattress does, first of all, have a couple rows of stronger coils running all the way around the perimeter of the mattress to help give it a stronger edge. Uh, the only thing we did notice that is that when you're sitting on the mattress, uh, those layers above that, uh, four or five inches of foam, uh, don't have such good edge support. So you, you sort of sink in a ways before you get to those stronger coils. Uh, so overall though, we'd still say the edge support when sitting on the edge was pretty good. Uh, lying on the edge of the mattress, we felt was very good. So uh, with your weight just a little bit more distributed across the edge of the mattress, uh, the edge support uh, was very good. So overall, we'd say this is a mattress that has good edge support. The next feature is ease of repositioning. Now, this is a feature that's probably not gonna be a priority at all for most people, but there is a group of people for whom this is going to be a really high priority. So we always make sure to take a look at this. And in this case, we would say that really, in spite of the fact that it has a little bit deeper cushioning, we really didn't have much trouble at all repositioning on this mattress. We'd say ease of repositioning is very good. The next feature is the use of natural materials, or for many people, a concern more about the lack of harmful chemicals. And on this front, I would start by saying that this is a, a spring mattress. So uh, fundamentally, eight of the 13 inches of this mattress are steel coils, which don't contain uh, any harmful chemicals and don't off-gas at all. So right there on this particular front, that's always a very good starting point to have. Uh, the second thing I would point out is that we always do uh, an initial off-gassing test right when we unbox the mattress to give, uh, to get a, a, a sense of how much of that initial off-gassing kind of chemical smell uh, are you going to experience right when it's brand new, which is the, always when it will be at its highest. And in this front, we would say that we experienced less of that than on the average mattress that we unbox. So uh, it performed, in other words, uh, above average on that particular front. And the last thing that I would say is with regards to the five-ish inches of foam in this mattress, uh, all of it is certified to the CertiPure standard, which is a standard that looks for the presence of and off-gassing of various known harmful materials and certifies that none are present beyond some minimally acceptable threshold. So altogether, we do think that those are some things that you can take some reassurance from if this is an area of concern for you. The next feature is adjustable base compatibility. And this is something we get asked about more and more these days. And when we think about adjustable base compatibility, we think about three things. Number one, is it going to damage the mattress in any way or void the warranty to use it on an adjustable base? And in this case, the answer is definitely no. This is fully intended to use on an adjustable base. And the second thing we look at is how well does it conform to the curves of the adjustable base, particularly when that base is in a fully articulated position, meaning when the head and the foot are both fully elevated. And in this uh, particular test, the Alexander Hybrid did excellent. Uh, not only did it conform very well to the base when I was sitting on it, including at the foot of the mattress, which is uh, often where brand new mattresses like the ones we test uh, tend to fall a little bit short, uh, but also it held that position even when I got off the mattress, which, which again, that's something that a lot of brand new mattresses uh, struggle with. So uh, overall, we'd say excellent in terms of its ability to conform to an adjustable base. And the last thing we look at is, 
does anything weird happen when you have it uh, on an adjustable base, particularly when both the head and foot are fully elevated? And it, in this case, uh, most of the things we look for, uh, we didn't see any problems with, with this mattress. The one thing we did see is that this quilting layer does bunch up quite a bit when you have both the head and foot fully elevated in that sort of valley where uh, your hips would be. Uh, there's, a, there's a bit of bunching and you definitely can feel it if you were to say get off of the mattress and get back on it. You can feel a little bit of that bunching. Uh, so overall, we would say um, that part wasn't ideal, but nonetheless, we would still say this is a mattress that is very good in terms of adjustable base compatibility. All right, so now that we've fully finished the three Fs, which are going to be the assessments that you're going to use to make sure that you're choosing the right mattress for you, let's turn now to the three things that are going to be very important to your purchase experience, particularly if you're buying a mattress online like this one. Delivery, return policy, and warranty. Starting with delivery, Nest Bedding offers free delivery to your doorstep, and from there, you'll just be on the hook to bring it into the house, into your bedroom, and unbox it, which obviously we did in this case and can attest to the fact that there was really nothing unusual about the unboxing uh, and nothing particularly tricky. The only thing is you probably, uh, or you may, need two people, just like with any of these things, because they tend to be pretty heavy to maneuver around. In terms of return policy, Nest Bedding offers a 100-night in-home trial, during which time you can return the mattress for any reason for a full refund. The one thing that they do ask is that you keep the mattress for at least 30 nights just to give your body time to adjust to the new mattress. In terms of warranty, the number one thing we always coach our readers to focus on first when looking at a mattress warranty is not the length of time. It's actually what they define to be an allowable dip in the mattress. And in the case of the Alexander Hybrid, the answer is one inch. So basically anything less than a one inch visible impression is considered to be normal wear and tear. Anything more than that would be a warranty event. Uh, and in terms of how that stacks up, the industry standard really for in your spring mattresses like this is an inch and a half. So one inch is quite a bit better in our view than the industry standard for a mattress like this. So right off the bat, I would say this is a very good warranty. Secondly, uh, Nest Bedding actually does offer a lifetime warranty. So uh, if really during any point in the future, during your use of this product, you encounter more than a one inch dip uh, or any other trouble uh, or, or warranty events, Nest Bedding will replace or repair this mattress uh, for you. So uh, that to me should give you a lot of reassurance in terms of uh, purchasing this mattress. All right, so now let's get into what's actually in the Alexander Hybrid mattress. And in total, this is a 13-inch uh, mattress. It's actually a little bit more than 13 inches, probably, uh, depending on where you are in this undulating quilted surface here. But uh, call it 13 and change in total. Um, and one cool thing that we can do here to show you the insides of this mattress is you can actually just unzip this cover it goes all the way around the whole mattress and allows us to just fully open the top of the mattress. Now, this part from here down, from this tape edge down, is all still sealed in in a separate kind of package. Um, but what this allows you to do is uh, actually access this top comfort layer and actually, uh, ultimately, it would allow you to replace this comfort layer over time. But we're not gonna focus on that right now. We're talking about what's in it uh, when you get it, uh, which is, uh, and let's start with the cover. Let's start with, um, what you have here is a quilted cover uh, that actually has some memory foam in it. The only memory foam, in fact, in this mattress is quilted into the cover. They call it a quarter inch of gel-infused uh, memory foam in a four pound density. But uh, like I was saying before, depending on where you are, if you're at the billowy part of the quilting, uh, it's probably closer to uh, an inch. Uh, if you're at one of these tighter quilting areas, maybe it's a half inch, and then obviously if you're on the stitching, it's nothing. So maybe it blends to uh, about a quarter of an inch overall, but um, nonetheless, this is the only memory foam in the mattress, and it is uh, a very soft memory foam. It's just there to give you like a little bit of added comfort and pressure relief. And this cover does have some phase change material in it as well to help with cooling. Uh, then below that, you have a three inch layer of Titan Flex foam uh, in a three and a half pound density. 
And this is uh, a very latex-like foam. It's basically an engineered foam. Uh, you can see here the three inch layer. Um, got a lot of bounce to it. Um, so it's again, very latex-like in that respect, uh, but also conforming um, in, a, in a sort of memory foamy way. Uh, you can see here there's, it's also in this case infused with some uh, uh, gel beads, uh, which is, gives it some conductive properties. Um, so that's obviously where the bulk of the comfort and pressure relief in this mattress is coming from. And I would say, by the way, overall, this is pretty soft. Um, it's not super soft. Obviously you couldn't have three inches of something that was super soft or this thing would just feel like a marshmallow, uh, but it's, it's fairly soft. And the fact that there is three inches of this material, I think is what gives this mattress, uh, its softness. Um, then below that, you've got basically an eight inch pocketed coil unit um, with uh, uh, a couple rows of stronger coils going around the perimeter of the mattress to give it uh, a nice uh, stronger edge. And those eight inches of coils are sandwiched between uh, two one inch layers of three pound density uh, foam that's really just giving the coils kind of something to uh, rest on on each side. So. And the only other thing I would note is that, uh, you know, the, the overall um, uh, construction of this mattress has got kind of a nice quality, traditional feel. Uh, it actually does have some handles uh, over here on the sides, uh, which are functional. You can, use them at, you can use them to move the mattress around. Uh, and it's got this nice, uh, soft, uh, classy looking side panel uh, and, a, and a sturdy, uh, sturdy feel to it. So, there you have it, the, the construction of the Alexander Signature Hybrid. One thing that's important to just about every mattress shopper is value. When we think about value, we always think about how much does it cost, what's in it, and how long do we think it's going to last. In terms of the cost, the current price of the Alexander Hybrid mattress is $1,299 in a queen size. And that would be before any good bed discounts are applied, which tend to be substantial. Now, we do always keep our written reviews updated with the latest and best available discounts. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out that written review and you can find a link directly to that right in the description of this video. And what you're getting for that is a 13 plus inch hybrid mattress with uh, at least three inches of what we would consider to be premium comfort materials, being that Titan Flex, uh, very latex-like foam up on top with a pocketed coil support layer. In terms of how long we think it's going to last, we would generally turn to foam densities as our best albeit imperfect predictor of longevity because foam does tend to be the weak link in any mattress's design. Uh, and in this case, uh, we, we can look at the, the small amount of memory foam in the quilt layer, which is a four pound density, which is, which is good. And there's also not very much of it. So I'm not worried about that being a weak link. Uh, you've got three pound density down, uh, sandwiching that uh, pocketed coil support layer. Uh, and, and I'm not worried about that foam as well. That's, that's a, a very good de density for foam used in that part of the mattress. Uh, and then what you have here in this uh, Euro top here is a three and a half pound density Titan Flex foam. Now this is an engineered foam. So densities uh, for these types of foams are a little bit harder to utilize. We have a little bit less empirical data in terms of their track record over a long period of time. But Overall, um, here's a couple things that I would take a lot of comfort from as it relates to this layer. Number one is the warranty that we have discussed. Uh, the fact that uh, Nest is willing to warranty this thing across its lifetime with a, only a one inch allowable dip gives me a lot of added confidence that they have confidence in how well this layer is going to hold up. The second thing that gives me a lot of confidence is frankly, the design of this mattress allows you to unzip this thing and fully replace that layer. So if that layer does fail at any point in time, you're not on the hook to get a whole new mattress. All you need is a three inch block of brand new uh, kind of Euro top comfort material. So uh, all in all, I'm not really concerned about any of the sort of any, any weak links long-term in the uh, lifespan of this mattress. So, if I wrap all that into an overall judgment on value, I would say that the Alexander Hybrid is definitely a very good value. So let's sum up some of the things that we've covered in this video. The Alexander Hybrid is a 13 plus inch hybrid mattress with a latex-like engineered foam over pocketed coil construction. 
We talked about how the medium version of this mattress is what we would call a medium soft on our softness spectrum and has a little deeper than average cushioning, giving you a little bit more of that hugged or cradled sensation in sleeping on it. We talked about how we think this will translate into excellent spinal alignment and pressure relief for most back sleepers and side sleepers. But we did also talk about how we think heavier back sleepers, as well as most stomach sleepers, are likely to want to look at the firm version. And likewise, lighter and or extra curvy side sleepers might want to look at the soft version of this mattress. We talked about how if you're someone who's looking for a whole lot of that slow melting memory foam sensation, you're really not going to get much of that on this mattress. But if you're looking for a mattress with uh, a medium to even uh, above average amount of bounce, if you're looking for a mattress that has very good motion isolation, good cooling properties, good edge support, and if all of the other fit, feel, and feature characteristics that we covered in this video sound like a good match for you, then we definitely think that the Alexander Hybrid is one that you should consider. So we hope you found this video helpful in determining whether the Alexander Hybrid mattress is the right mattress for you. Once again though, we'd really recommend that you go to goodbed.com and check out our full in-depth write-up of this review, which you can find a link to right in the description of this video, both for the full details on our ratings and assessments, as well as for the best and latest available discounts on this product. Uh, but even if after all of that, you're still not sure, we really recommend taking the Good Bed Quiz, which you can find right up on the homepage of our website. This quiz will walk you through all of the same fit, feel, and feature characteristics that we covered in this video, and ultimately will show you mattresses that best match your personal needs and preferences, both online as well as in the local stores in your area. So we really think it is hands down the best starting point for any mattress shopper. In the meantime, we thank you for watching and we really hope you sleep well.